Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. We want you to meet one of our local residents. It's John Shepard with John Shepard Photography. And John, you've been a fixture in this valley for a long time. Yes, yes. I can't even remember when I first got here. I was that <laughs> <Yeah>. little. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about this. Photography yeah. has been something in your blood, something you've done really since you were a kid. When I was real little, my grandparent farmers in Ohio a hundred years ago in the middle of nowhere were photographers. So my mom grew up with it. So my dad being a Navy officer, we traveled a lot. So our next door neighbors introduced us to slide photography. That's when the film speed was 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so we were up in Alaska and I always wanted to do underwater photography movies and be a scuba diver from being a little kid. So uh, my brother took it up for us in Alaska. But then out of high school, I moved to the Virgin Islands. I was in the boat charter scuba diving, did underwater movies and photography and it went well, then moved to Tennessee where I was in the music industry and uh, video production like you folks do here. And uh, and you played drums for some of the For the Marty stars. Robbins and uh, some of the big boys and everything. Wonderful lifestyle and everything. And then uh, I got an opportunity to move to Denver and work for NBC Sports and News, did the Bronco games, discovered this, moved up here. My third year, like in 89, 90, 91 seasons, almost when we first met, uh, I finally learned how to not hit kids in trees. Oh. <laughs> and you know why trees don't move? They're deaf. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've had fun. Then my friends up here saw my photography from the Virgin Island days. And in four years, I came out with three award-winning books. Oh, wow. And this is my third book, uh, Cowboys, Cowgirls, and Wide Open Spaces. Runs from Montana to Texas. I have my old-time movie star buddies in there from the good old days. The regular coffee table hardback books I sold out years ago. Then I also, to save the customers some money, I made the mistake because you don't do two different things of the same thing. I had some soft covers printed up, but when you opened it up from the printer, the cover would pop off the spine because they didn't glue it properly. Oh, okay. So I go to Helmut Fricker, you know, master book binder. We re-glue them there. And point being, when I offer them to people, I only sell them face to face and, uh, I want to sell them instead of 26, I offer them for 10 because I have to share the defect with the people. You won't find them in a store anywhere. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the pictures that you brought. I know yeah. that you've got um, just some great scenic photography. This, where is this? Wow. This is south of Leadville with Mount Elbert in the background, the old mining ghost town on the back road up to the uh, Mount Elbert holding lake that drops down into Twin Lakes. And it's, you, you just park along the road, walk down to it and uh, wow. obviously summertime. Just gorgeous, yes. Really neat to see the mountains from that perspective. And then a little and, bit of our history. Yes, uh, St. Elmo's down near Buena Vista, loosely Mount Princeton Hot Springs. It's on the National Record of Historical Places, an old mining town. And it looks just like it did 125 years ago. And on my photo safari treks, I take people. This is one of our many stops, stops along the way. And John Fielder, famous photography uh, photogra photographer here, he's done a foreword to your books before. Yeah, he was very kind and a wonderful, successful photographer and businessman. And I've learned a lot from him. I'm out traveling, always having fun meeting people. Where are you from? What do you do? And love to meet people, make sure everybody's having a good time. Yeah. And as you know, the one thing that's wonderful about up here, we all live here because we want to. Uh, nobody got drug here. Nobody's forced to be here. So we're <laughs> yeah. all having a grand time here. Skiing, whitewater rafting in the summer, climbing mountains, just having a grand time. Yeah, look at these beautiful pictures. Where's this one from? That's uh, the upper lake from Twins Lakes, looking at uh, Hope Pass up there on the left. And uh, uh, I want to get there early in the morning when there's no ripple of wind on the water to get the good reflection of the scenery in the water. Oh yeah, that looks like glass right there. <clears throat> All right, so if we want to find out more about your photography, or I know you've got an upcoming project with the cities, yeah, cities right. at night. Uh, my cities by night is not the exact title, but 10 different big U.S. cities. The front cover shot will be on top of the Empire State Building shoot, shooting down Manhattan Island at dusk, not at night. Uh, Dallas, Denver, Nashville, uh, Washington, D.C., Boston, San Diego, Seattle, Anchorage, and Honolulu would be the cities. Oh, wow. And of all things, last February, a year ago, Roger Starbuck called me to do the forward. Oh, good. So, okay. And my dad recruited him to Annapolis. We never <laughs> knew each other growing up in Cincinnati as kids. 
and a wonderful guy, and so I've got to get it all together. And I've got other projects I'm working on. Okay. And then us photographers have joined with the uh, Valley Painters for the Vail Valley Art Guild. We have uh, galleries now at uh, Chapel Square, right next to uh, uh, City Market here in Avon. Okay. And then we're down Riverwalk in Edwards, uh, where we're offering our photography, paintings, uh, and other artistic problems. Uh, okay. uh, objects. Perfect. Okay, thanks so much, John Shepard, local, long-time local here with an interesting past, and you can check him out on Facebook as 